changing lanes can be one of the scariest things to learn. Let's figure out how to make it so it's not. So the reason why changing lanes is scary is because you're checking too far. If you ever look over your shoulder like that, you're gonna end up tweaking the wheel and you're gonna be guessing before you even try to change lanes. You have no idea what's around you. So a better way is find out how to use your mirrors properly. The middle mirror should see the entire rear window. That's your main goal there. For your side mirrors, first start seeing a little bit of your car. Then slightly tilt that mirror out until your car just barely disappears. The only time you should see your car is if you lean slightly towards it. That's how you see your car when you want to. Your next thing is find where the ground meets the sky. That's your horizon and get the horizon to come through the middle of the mirror. The other side mirror is the same thing. Tilt it in until you can see your car, then tilt it out till your car just barely disappears. The only time you should see it is if you lean slightly towards it. There's your car and then find where the ground meets the sky. We call that the horizon and get that through the middle. The reason why we adjust our mirrors like this is so that our blind spot is much easier to check. For example, this is what it's gonna look like. So you can see me in that tiny little mirror and you can also see car. That makes your blind spot a little bit bigger. So let's find it. I'm gonna step into the blind spot. I'm here and now you turn your head and there's your blind spot. This is the view without showing your car. I step into the blind spot, which is right about here and much easier, much quicker to check. Notice what window we're looking through. We're looking through the side window and not this back one looking way over your shoulder. Remember, this is a blind spot check, what we're doing right now. You can look a little bit further just by doing that. Notice I don't have to twist my body for that. Now, if you're checking your blind spot like this, that's way too far. That's when it's scary. Here, you can see me in that mirror. I'm now gonna step into your blind spot one more time and it's just barely over here. So in order to check your blind spot, notice what window we're looking through. We're just looking through that side one right here. Um, and this will help you discover not to look through that back one. Remember, if you're checking this far, you're checking too far, that's scary. If you just turn your head and look to the corner of your eye like I'm doing now, that's how you check your blind spot. Let's first talk about pattern. The pattern should always be signal, check the middle mirror, look forward to make sure you're still in your lane. Check the side mirror, look forward to make sure you're still in your lane, line spot check, then move over. Once you get that pattern down, the next thing is, what am I seeing in those mirrors? The first thing that you should look for is space between your vehicles. There's space there in front of it, and then there's a little bit of space between the vehicle next to me and that white truck. What I'm looking for is evidence of, is he behind me and how much space do I have? So I check that middle mirror, and there is a little bit of that white truck that I saw on the side mirror. The problem is this vehicle is next to me, and even though that white truck is behind me, I can't move over because of that, that black car. So. I have a decision to make. I can either get behind this black car and try to change lanes, but I realize that I'm going too slow. I'm going 35 on a 45. So my decision here is let's speed up and try to get in front of this vehicle next to me. So as I accelerate, I start to signal right, and I am looking to find this guy next to me in my middle mirror. There he is a little bit in that middle mirror. He's also in that side mirror. So I signal, middle mirror, side mirror, blind spot check, nothing there, and gently start to move over. It's okay to recheck the mirror if you need to. Your strongest tool for changing lanes is to check your rear zone often, even if you don't have to change lanes. When it does come time to change lanes, you already know what's there. You can see the guy approaching from the back left, and I already had my signal on and I blind spot checked. Even though he's approaching, I still decided to move over just to show that, yeah, you can sometimes still get in front of people even if they're approaching. He wants to speed, so I start looking for space to move back to that right lane. I see space, blind spot check. Notice as we move over, you can see that vehicle in our rear view mirror just saying that that guy's behind us. The thing to note as you're watching this is notice how often I check the rear zone just to see what's there. Even though there's nothing but vehicles there, I'm still checking just to see, all right, what is going on with those vehicles and what's the space between them. Um, you'll also notice me checking speed quite often. And this is just kind of a juggle. You check your rear zone, you check your speed, you look for signs, and you always look forward in between a check. So if I check middle mirror, I look straight. If I check side mirror, I look straight. And so it's always check to make sure you're still straight as you check things. Your brain will process what you saw while you look straight. So I'm seeing that vehicle behind me, noticing my speed, I'm about 45 miles per hour, and then I'm just keeping an eye on the vehicles. I'm like, okay, there's one guy behind me, there's open space to my front left if I wanted to try to get to it, but I'd have to speed for it. Then I check that left mirror and I'm like, okay, there's space in between that Jeep and the vehicle that's next to me right now. So I'm just looking for evidence. Notice that everybody's passing me here and I have no problem with that. If everybody wants to speed, let them speed. Let them pass you on the left lane. And so I just choose, okay, I'm just gonna stay in this lane as everybody is passing me. 
what I notice here soon is that there's a big gap between the vehicle. So me checking already knew that if I wanted to change lanes, I could. I noticed that we just passed a sheriff and all those guys that were speeding are starting to slow down a little bit. So if I wanted to change lanes, I could do it right now, but there's no benefit. I know this sounds all very simple, but what happens is that the more you do this, it'll start to become a habit and you'll just start to check for space all the time. And then when you check your blind spot, you'll already know that it's generally pretty clear and always look to the corner of your eye for that blind spot. Even though my camera doesn't show that corner, it's okay to move over because I already knew what was there. You should always check to make sure it's clear to move over, even if it looks like it doesn't. You always have to think about that impatient driver trying to pass you on your back left even if the lane looks clear. Notice I also blind spot check for turns. That's to make sure that I don't run over any bicyclists. Here's another example of me checking the rear zone often. I notice that guy behind me is changing lanes, so I allow him to pass. He's already going faster than me, so I don't need to slow down. I signal as he's passing me so that he doesn't think that I'm trying to get in front of him. Signal, check the middle mirror, check the side mirror, check blind spot, then move over. Again, there's just an example of knowing what's around you before you attempt to check that blind spot. The better you get at this, the easier lane changing will be. Now we're gonna enter a freeway. Remember, the biggest thing is trying to get your speed up. If you enter at 45 miles per hour while the road's going 65, nobody's gonna let you in. They're only gonna try and speed up and make it so that they don't get behind you. So here I'm just focused on getting my speed up and making sure that I'm close to the speed so people don't catch up to me on the freeway. Now I start looking for what space do I have? And so as I'm checking my mirrors, I'm looking for evidence of who's behind me. Right now, you can see a little bit of a white car in my middle mirror, and then there he is again. So that just tells me that guy is definitely behind me. I see the truck in that side lane, and he's two lanes away. There's that white truck again in that middle mirror. So I blind spot check, then move over. And so notice that nobody let me in. I had to seize the space. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you understand more clearly how to change lanes, then imagine how many more people are in need of this video. Help me reach more drivers by liking and subscribing, and most importantly, share this all over social media. Let's make better driving a thing. So remember, practice, 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 and you got this.